Alright, this is the first of a video series I want to do this year where I compare pocket pistols between the 380 and the 38 Special and really find out what the real difference is between these two handguns. Now before I want to get into testing different ammo, testing these particular pocket guns, I want to talk about the power of the cartridges themselves. Now the first thing I'm going to say to you is that the 38 Special hands down is a more powerful cartridge. There is just no if, ands, or buts about that. It is a more powerful cartridge than the 380. But in the same breath, I'm going to tell you that out of guns like this, the amount of muzzle energy you get really is pretty close to the same. I know that sounds contradictory. I'm going to put these guns over here for now because I'm talking about the cartridges in this, in this video. A lot of times, you'll have a lot more gunpowder in that 38 Special. A lot more. For instance, if this 38 Special right here was a plus P and this 380 was a standard pressure, which is very common, you could easily have double the amount of gunpowder in that 38 versus that 380, depending on the bullet weight, depending on the power. Double. So that tells you right off the bat, in that instance, that 38 Special as a cartridge itself is twice as powerful as that 380. Now, if you take those cartridges and you fire them through guns like this, that changes the equation a lot. Basically, what you're going to do is with the 38 Special on snub nose barrel, you lose a lot of that power. You lose some of it through the cylinder gap, you lose most of it through that short barrel. As with the 380, you are using most of that gun power, so it's very efficient. However, there's just a little bit too much gunpowder to contend with with the 38 Special. So even though you're losing a lot more potential energy, there's still more potential energy to work with. Now I looked up some plus P ammunition, and plus P, by the way, is something that even in Ruger's website, I believe, not necessarily the website, but people have called Ruger and asked them, plus P ammo in the LCP. And Ruger basically said, no, you shouldn't use that. And they had a whole big reason why. But, you know, I look up 380 plus P ammo, and I try to look it up on the Sporting Arms Manufacturing Institute website, and I can't find it. But I can find 38 plus P. So I think the thing is with 380, it's one of those things where it's like 40 plus P, 380 plus P, 357 mag plus P. It's really not a thing. It's a ammunition company's invention that's not truly part of Sammy Specs. So, anyways, even if you take that into consideration, the most powerful uh, 380 plus P cartridge that I could find was 227 foot pounds of energy out of this gun. And there was another cartridge that was similar to it, both made by Buffalo Bar, and it was 222. 222 and 227 foot pounds of energy. Now, with just plus P, uh, Sammy verified plus P 38s. There are cartridges that in this gun, this barrel length, were up there at 379 foot pounds of energy. So, you look at that, you can tell right there that that cartridge of the 38 Special is definitely more powerful. Then I looked up some information on long barrels. And even the plus P variant of the 380 shot through an 18 inch barrel. It was maxing out about 415 foot-pounds of energy through an 18-inch barrel. All the accounts that I could find of information where people shot 38 Special Plus P's through 18-inch barrels, it came into about 650 foot-pounds of energy. That was about the average that I was finding, if not sometimes more. So you got 650 foot-pounds of energy. That's really the potential of the 38 Plus P. And that's not even the buffalo bore stuff. That's just a run-of-the-mill 38 plus P. 650 foot-pounds of energy versus uh, 415. So, you know, more than 200 extra foot-pounds of energy you get with that 38 plus P. The potential of the cartridge, anyway. Now, let's get away from all this plus P stuff. And let's talk about the stuff that actually is run through these guns. Standard pressure of both. 
or plus P of O. Typically what you see is you see a lot more people running plus P in the 38 than they do in the 380. So that definitely puts it far above the 380 as far as energy. But let's take for instance just standard pressure in both here. Standard pressure in both, typically most of your self-defense loads for 380 are coming in around 170 foot pounds of energy. Typically your standard pressure loads of the 38 Special are maybe between 175 and 200 foot pounds of energy. So let's, you know, give kind of a middle ground here and say 185 foot pounds of energy versus 170 standard pressure in both. Pretty similar. So really what the series might come down to in the end is going to be possibly revolver versus auto and people never tire of that anyway. So, you know, revolver versus auto, you can toss it up in the air and say, you know, you got 185 versus 170 foot pounds of energy on average, standard pressure. And this is five shots that are more reliable. This is seven shots that are maybe a little bit less reliable. Another thing is this being more efficient, you know, not as much muzzle rise, not as much flash and blast. This not being as efficient and having a more powerful round in general and losing most of that energy, you are going to have a little bit more recoil. So those are two significant things. So that just sums up the cartridges themselves. Yes, the 38 is more powerful. But in these type of guns, is it usable power? Oftentimes, no. So that sums up my first video, the power of these cartridges themselves. And I hope to have more videos where I'm actually doing some shooting and testing on these. So, as always, thanks for watching.